here with our friends Fabi and Alma and they were so kind to drive us here from Tirana and where are we? In Skodra. Yeah, Welcome in Shkodra. to Skodra. Yay Skodra! <laughs> so now that we're here we're gonna explore the town and have an amazing time. Welcome to Skodra. In this episode, we are going to visit a castle on the hill and we're going to trek over to one of the largest Ottoman bridges that still exists today. But first... Let me tell you about this city. It dates back to the 4th century BC and was settled by ancient Illyrian tribes. Today, this city is the fifth most populous city in all of Albania. There are tons of musicians and artists that come from here. When you come here, you may not want to walk everywhere, but that's okay because this is a city of bikes. Since Skodra is a city of bikes, we had to rent some bikes and we took it out to the city of Mess in search of the Messy Bridge. Our bike out here was incredible. As we're biking along, we're heading towards the Albanian Alps, beautiful snow-capped giant mountains. Once we get here at the Messy Bridge, we get to see its architecture. The middle part of the bridge was built first, the big arch that goes over the Kerr River. And then the second phase had all 11 of the secondary arches built then. This bridge was built in the 18th century, around 17, 70 when Albania was under the rule of the Ottoman Empire. Today it's one of the longest remaining examples of an Ottoman bridge in the entire region. We are in the center of Skodra and we are told that these are some of the oldest roads here in the city. So we're going to do some exploring. Chicago Hotel. And the Coliseum. Did you know the Coliseum was here? It doesn't look as impressive as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. A lot more modern too. Yeah. There's a couple spots in town where you can see at all at one time the Roman Catholic Church, the Greek Orthodox Church, and a mosque, which is incredible because back in 1967, Albania was declared an atheist country. And up until 1991, you weren't allowed to worship or celebrate any sort of religion. Today, in many cities in Albania, you have your choice, all within walking distance. In 1991, when the communist reign ended, people had their choice of religions, but they didn't know what to choose. So most times they went with whatever their family members, a parent or a grandparent used to believe in. And they kind of just started there. Now there's more of a religious uprising coming where people are actually trying to dive deeper into their faith and try to figure out what they actually believe in, as opposed to what they're told they just happen to be. The Messy Bridge isn't the only interesting thing about Skodra, and so today we're actually headed south of the city to see Rozafa, the castle on the hill. And it's just about three kilometers away from the center of the city, so we're headed there by foot. The castle is about 130 meters above sea level, and it is surrounded by the Buna and Drin rivers. And as we were arriving into town a few days ago, we could actually see Rozafa from miles and miles away. So we're really excited to show you around this historical site. 
We have made it through the entrance of the castle and the tickets are 400 left per person. So we've got our tickets and it even has the castle on the ticket. It's really hard to not look around when you're walking, but you have to, you want to look around, but you have to look at the ground so you don't, whoa, so, so you don't trip on the cobblestone road. Like you legit can't see over the walls. It's a castle, guys. Because if you fall off here, you're still in the castle. religious building. In the 13th century, it began as St. Stephen's Cathedral. And then after the Ottoman rule, around the 15th or 16th century, it became Sultan Mehmet's Mosque. You see like the depth. It's a pretty large size cathedral. Inside of this museum, which is 200 lek to get in for adults and 50 lek to get in for children, is the famous thing that you'll see online. And it tells the legend of Rosafa Castle. So kind of just to paraphrase what's going on over here is there are three brothers, the legend, according to legend, that were set to build the castle. They worked all day with the foundation, uh, kept falling. Um, and they were married and this old man came up to them and said if you really want to finish the castle you must wear, swear never to tell your wives what I'm gonna tell you now the wife who brings you food tomorrow you must bury alive in the wall of the castle only then will the foundation stay put and last forever so they swore on Bessa which is how we would say bet or I, I promise that um, that they were going to do just that so then when the one wife of one of the brothers came in um, they, they waited to see who was gonna be coming in and one of the wives who actually did come in was actually okay with it. He told her that she was gonna be sacrificed and buried in the wall of the castle so they could finish building it and the walls would stay up. She didn't pro protest it, but she had an infant son so she promised to have part of her exposed to feed the son, uh, to rock the cradle. And that, if you wanna go into the museum, is where you can see uh, this statue, this life-size statue of Rosafa, who this castle was named after. We had a great time walking around the Rosafa Castle. So whenever you are in Skodra, definitely come check it out. I mean, you could spend 
quite a bit of time here. There's so much history and there's all these signs that tell you kind of where you're at and what you're looking at. So that's super helpful. And the view of the city and the mountains from up here is spectacular. So it's definitely a must. crossing the river so we can head to the city across the river so we can see a better view of the lake. We made it to our city that's on the lake. Now don't think it's a short walk it's definitely not it was about five kilometers from the bridge near the castle. After walking about like five kilometers probably from the bridge near the castle, we are finally at the lake of Skodra, Skodra Lake. And we were walking alongside the river and the river was so big, I even thought that was the lake, but no, this is actually the lake. And this is the biggest lake in the Balkan region and actually the biggest lake in Southern Europe. It lies between the border of Montenegro and Albania. At times, we see that there's an overflow to the city from one of the rivers. Now, we're at the proper lake and it still overflows. You see, it just comes up from all of these different ways. And you can see this car is like stuck in the water. And these cars in the distance are making their way through a completely flooded road. So we popped into this restaurant right over here and the food was absolutely delicious. The restaurant owner came, took our order, just said, hey, we have fish or meat, you pick. And so we picked some fish and he came out with a platter full of fish. We got some potato fries on the side um, and watched the lake and the mountains right across. And it was absolutely wonderful. Definitely check this out if you're in this area. And we'll make sure to put the link to this area and this restaurant, the name of the restaurant down in the description below. Yeah. I gotta say, we had an amazing time here in Skodra. Yeah, seeing the messy bridge and how blue that water was, we're super happy that the river wasn't dried out when we came to visit it. Plus, Rozafa Castle was huge and full of amazing history and some legend. Thanks for watching this video. This is Witty Travels. What, what could, could possibly, possibly be, be next? next?